All right, so let's jump into the video right away. Right now, I am testing the Gigablast speeds from Cox, and I'm using the panoramic Wi-Fi modem and the panoramic Wi-Fi. I know I am just testing the Gigablast for right now, so I am renting, as I said on the video description right here. So um, on my gaming computer, I am getting the full speeds. Well, actually, not the 1,000 mbps i'm getting around 950 970 sometimes but you know i am right there and so um on my streaming computer i am not getting my full speeds and i'm using a netgear uh the n150 wireless router the wnr 1000 this uh router is very old if you ask me now, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and run a uh, speed test on my streaming computer, as you can see on the video. And you can see that I am being capped around 100. It stays around the 90s and the 100. And it, it doesn't give me the full, you know, speeds or even close speeds of, um, you know, the Gigablast. So I decided that I needed to get a switch. So I did my little research and I found the Netgear uh five port gigabit and that is the reason of this video the model is the gs 105 and <clears throat> right now this is like the before shot and what i did is i went ahead and connected it as you're gonna see on the video this is my configuration right now uh my gaming computer it's connected directly to the modem and the other port of this modem was connected to my Netgear router and I was using it as a switch because I am uh, using other Ethernet ports for you know my other computer my son Xbox and his little station over there and also I was running another router so I'm running three routers out of this modem and the speeds like I said out of this modem the Netgear the 150 uh, Mbps they were I wasn't getting the you know the Gigablast experience so the reason of this video is I wanted to, you know, show you if you upgrade to Gigablast, uh, make sure that you're getting your full speeds. Make sure you do your speed test. Uh, don't use it on Google uh, because the Google uh, browser, it's very unreliable. So I use the program directly from, you know, the speed test and it program directly from uh, the Windows Store. I downloaded the app. So as you can see right here in the video, you are seeing a much better improvement on my downloads. It's actually, it unlocked the Gigablast experience. Now, Gigablast is very new in my area. So sometimes it goes down to 500 Mbps. Sometimes it goes back down to 300. And right now at this moment, it's uh, a little bit unreliable. But most of the time, it is staying on the gigabit experience. I mean, the gigablast. So I just wanted to make this quick video. And also one of the main reasons was when I did my upgrade with Cox, they changed my uh, my modem. And this modem that I got right now only has two ports. It doesn't have four Ethernet ports. So <laughs> that was the main reason why I had to get a switch because... I was only using three other Ethernet cables besides my main gaming computer. I was using other three. So I I really needed, you know, a modem with ports. And this new one, this panoramic uh, that Cox is renting right now, it's uh, it only has two ports, like I said. So that's a little a uh, it's it's a laid down. I mean, who the hell's renting, right? I mean, a lot of people that don't know about modems and routers, they just go and pay the $10 a month and forget about it. They don't want to deal with, you know, going to the store, buying the modem and having to set it up with cock, having to send a technician to your house to set it up if you don't know how to do it. Some people don't want to deal with that. So they just rent. Right. So uh, uh, right now I am testing waters, like I said with Cox and I mean the Giga Blast and I want to see how reliable it is. I want to see, you know, the difference when I am streaming and whatnot. And I also want to see, you know, what is the difference 
uh, having only the ultimate package, which that's what I had before. I had the 300 down and 35 up. And my uploads didn't really change much. Uh, it was only 30 before, so it went up a little bit, like 5 or 7. So it's not a big deal. My videos upload really fast. I stream really fast as well. Uh, but I wanted to notice the difference when I d download games and stuff like that. And if you want to know, you know, the difference between high and fast speed internets, then I guess I'll do a little research and make a better video about it. Right now, I'm just going over it really fast. So, question to you. Have you upgraded to Gigablast? I'm going to recommend you to do one thing really quick. Go ahead and run a speed test and make sure that you are getting your full speeds because if you just upgrade it and let it go what happens with windows 10 and that's something that i have like i have been uh, messing around with lately it's a windows 10 it slows down your internet you have to reset your um, network settings otherwise uh, you're going to be getting 300 and i kind of forgot about that a little bit when i upgraded i got the speeds and i was like happy we did the test and whatnot i was like okay and I uh, downloaded a game and whatnot. So after a few days, there was a Windows 10 update. I went ahead and ran the update and whatnot. And I went and downloaded the game, right? And the game on Steam, like with Gigablast, it, uh, the max Mbps download, the max peak, um, it was around 98 to 100. So when I noticed on this time after the Windows 10 update, I noticed that I was only around 40 to 48, which that's what I would get before, uh, before updating to Gigablast. So I noticed, so I, I was like, okay, wait a minute. So I went over Google Chrome, ran a freaking speed test, right? And bam, I was getting 300, 375. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be getting over 900, right? Because that's what I'm paying for. But no. So I contact customer service and whatnot. They had a, te they had a technician come over to my house. and spent like four hours. <laughs> we, it, he changed two different modems of the same brand, the Panoramic brand, because they only got one right now. And guess what? No upload. I mean, no download. And it, in, in fact, it went down to five. So, you know, after the technician left, and they set up another appointment. So I just went on Google right away. Click, click, click. Windows 10 internet speed really slow. And I found this one video. And this guy said, oh, reset your uh, network speeds. I mean, your network settings. So I did that. Boom, boom, boom. I'm getting 900 again. Simple and easy, huh? All right, guys. This was your host, Sergio with Takeover Clock. I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions, leave them down below. You know what to do. Don't subscribe and don't hit the like. Bye.